Welcome to the Ports and Shipping News from Vishakapatnam. Mundra Port, India's biggest container harbor, saw a noticeable fall in the container movement last month. According to the data, the volume of containers handled in Adani Port's flagship port in September declared nearly 6% month on month to 5 lakh. 22,483 TUS, 5,54,184 TUS in August. On this, the Adani Control Terminal contributed 4,44,986 TUS compared with the 4,57,334 TUS during the August. The Mundra complex also includes a DP World Managed Concession known as the Mundra International Container Terminal, MICT. However, the private port saw a transshipment load last month, uh, helping it end with a somewhat mild uh, throughput decline according to the dat available data. The Adhani terminal saw a combined transshipment volume of uh, 1,35,683 TUS in September, up from 1,16,813 TUS in August. Mundra is not only the Indian port taking a hit on the volume levels. According to the CN analysis, total container traffic out of major and government Indian ports last month slipped to 8,92,000 TUS from 9,77,000 TUS in August, representing 9% decrease. Navisheva JNPT ended September with 4,81,000 TUS down from 4,98,000 TUS Chennai port in southern India saw 1,22,000 TUS last month, shrinking from 1,37,000 TUS while a Cochin port with the house countries only dedicated transshipment terminal volume edged down to 53,000 TUS from 58,000 TUS in August. Additionally, Vishakhapatnam port handled just 37,000 TUS last month as against 48,000 TUS in the period month. Data shows with other small ports in India also reporting volume decline in September on month-on-month -month basis. The declaration reflects a slowing of India's export and import rate due to the global economic headwinds. The headwinds in global trade are equally ref reflected to the World Trade Organization forecast for 2023 released recently, which has projected its growth at 1% only. The Federation of Indian Export Organization, FIE, was said in a statement. The Federation added that the India being a domestic demand-driven economy will not be much impacted by these developments. However, noted that exporters are working proactively to mitigate the impact of global demand challenges. The association explained, while the Russia-Ukraine war is set back to our exports in a short run, we are looking to increase our exports to Russia once the Indian rupee payment mechanism gets operationalized as per our study. We can add about uh, 5 billion US dollars in exports to Russia with the US Sanction on Russia, we expect the trade to divert from Russia to India. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.